What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel. Thank you guys for the continued support. Wow, this is something we didn't expect. The Philadelphia Eagles pulled off an upset of the then number one seed, New Orleans Saints, and it's all because of Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts came in, and not only did he give Philly a spark, Jalen Hurts is the reason why they won the game. He was the key contributor, key difference, and the reason why Philly has a win and still legit has a chance of winning the NFC East and now why the Saints are the two seed in the NFC. Now let's look at the numbers because the numbers don't tell the whole story, but I do want to show you the numbers and, and how big of a difference having Jalen Hurts was as opposed to having Carson Wentz. So Philly won 24 to, 20, 24 to 21 over the New Orleans Saints. Philly's four, eight, and one. New Orleans, uh, the Redskins, or no, not the Redskins, the Washington football team, only has, what, six wins. They only have six wins. Now, it's very late in the season, and Washington is kind of pulling away, but Philly statistically still has a chance of winning the division. It's the only way they'll win to, uh, get in the playoffs. Let's look at Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts went 17-30, 167, and one touchdown. I'm not going to blow you away passing. He's still developing as a passer. But look at the run game. Miles Sanders had 115 yards rushing. The Saints hadn't given up a 100-yard rusher in three years, y'all. Let's think about this. The Saints haven't given up a 100-yard rusher since 2017. In three years, it had been nearly 60 games. He had 115, including an 80-yard run. Jalen Hurts had 106 on the ground, including six yards of carry and two touchdowns by Mal Sanders. That is a difference. That makes a huge difference. And look at it. The And another thing that was huge, zero interceptions. Zero interest. Now, Hurts did have a fumble. I'm not going to act like he didn't. He had a fumble late in the game. That was in it. It was really big because the Saints scored a touchdown, which made it 21 to 24. But Hurts came in. It was he never lost his poise. He was cool, calm and collected the entirety of the game, even when he lost his fumble. But the big thing is the, the turnovers. Only one turnover for Jalen Hurts, as opposed to the four or five that Carson Wentz was having her game. Jalen Hurts is moving forward. He's going to be the quarterback moving forward because he gives your team the best chance to win in Philly. Not only that, that defense played inspired. Don't get me wrong. I already told you I don't think Taysom Hill, Taysom, uh, Taysom Hill is the quarterback of the future for the Saints. I've already said that. People told me how I didn't know football and blah, 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 how I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. He ain't the guy. But but he was playing good football. He had won three games in a row, although albeit two of them was over the Falcons. But he was playing good for, and people really legit thought that he could be. He was playing so well that people legit thought he could be the heir apparent to Drew Brees. And even Sean Payton was feeding that foolishness to the media. That ain't gonna work. If you want a chance to really win a Super Bowl, Taysom Hill ain't gonna be it. But beside all of that, the Eagles' defense stepped up and played their best game of the season. Five sacks. Five sacks of Taysom Hill. And this ain't a statue quarterback. This ain't five sacks of Drew Brees, somebody who can't move. Taysom Hill may be the fastest player on the Saints. And they had five sacks of him. A guy who had won three games in a row that was playing good football. And the Eagles defense played inspired. You know why? You want to know why? Because Jalen Hurts was on the other side. They had faith in Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts put them in position to win the ball game. And that's exactly what they did. Their defense stepped up. Jalen Hurts in the running game stepped up. Miles Sanders had his best game of the season. And that is why Philly will move forward with Jalen Hurts. Now, the grand question is, what the hell are they going to do with Carson Wentz, right? Because a lot of people were banking and expecting Jalen Hurts to fail, especially against the Saints, especially against the Saints, because the Saints had the number one. They were the number one team in the NFC. They had the number one defense in the NFC. They had one of the number one defense maybe in the entire NFL. So they expected Jalen Hurts to struggle, but he didn't. He didn't because he is a good player. He didn't because he didn't turn the ball over. He didn't because he really wants to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. He wants to prove to people that he can play in this league. People thought he was overdrafted in the second round, especially by a team who had a $100 million quarterback, but he's out to prove something. And that's one thing about Jalen Hurts. We can say whatever we want about him. He might not be the most talented. He might not be the most skilled, but he is a, a worker. He is someone who comes in and he defies a lot of things. He defies a lot of odds. He went to Alabama. He was the big star. He was the big guy, but he couldn't throw. He was replaced by Tua. He stayed at Alabama, even when a lot of people thought he should have transferred. He stayed longer, 
Tua gets hurt, he saves Alabama's season by going and winning them the SEC championship game. Jalen Hurts did that. Then he trans transfers to Oklahoma. Once again, people still not thinking he can throw. He goes out and finishes second in the Heisman race, over 50 touchdowns. Then he goes to the draft. Once again, his throwing is still a, still a thing. It still needs improvement. And he goes in the second round. Jalen Hurts has defied odds his entire life, and I think he may just do that in Philadelphia. And Philly, one thing about Philly, they want a winner, but they love a guy, an underdog story. They love a guy who can defy odds. They love a guy who is going to put it all on the line for that town and doesn't believe he's better than the next man. And that's what they have in Jalen Hurts, and that's why he's going to be successful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Jeff Lowe. button notification bell because we upload every single day and i'll see you guys next time